Hey, gamer, hope you have a great stream. Hey, Kevin, what's up? Thanks for stopping in, but how you going today? I am actually losing my mind right now over Unity, and I needed a break, and as you guys can see, I have Unity uh, reinstalled on my PC. And, you know, I'm losing my mind over so many things right now. It's been a very chaotic about last 75 minutes. It's not a vibe. It's really not. Anyways, so before I go into that, how are you doing today, Kevin? <laughs> Stop sending me GitHub codes! Sorry, not you. The Google Authenticator tool thingy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna have a meltdown. <laughs> It's not that deep. It ain't that deep. I'm just... Gosh, there's so much annoying shit right now. Just like... God... Oh my gosh. On, I'm, I'm actually... I'm streaming super early today, right? Because I just need to blow off a little bit of steam and frustration right now. And confusion. <laughs> Oh, are you okay? I do need. I can help you out if you need a debug buddy. No, I'm chilling, honestly. For the most part, everything is fine. It's just, gosh, Unity mesh colliders are the worst. Like I didn't touch them, and then they started bugging out, freaking out, and I was just like, you know, I fucking hate mesh colliders. But the thing that's weirding me out even more is because okay, so I was working on my Mac because my Mac actually has more storage than my PC, and I haven't been any doing anything particularly robust in Unity in the last like two months. So I was like, I don't need to download, like, I deleted my Unity installs from my PC to make storage space, right? Um, and I was like, okay, well, it might just be a Mac issue. So I was like, let me get the repo on my PC. Spent an hour uploading the repo, all that jazz, whatever, yada yada, good stuff. And spent a little bit of time deleting some stuff from, some files from my computer so I can make space for Unity. Because, right, I can't run Unity and Maya at the same time like previously. And I don't know, y you guys know me, I'm always fighting for my life when it comes to, um... When it comes to enough storage space on my computer, right? Well, not today. What happened? What? I mean, yes, I was deleting a lot of stuff, but it should not have equated to, like, almost 50 gigs. Because I had, like, 20. And... In order to download like Unity installs, also like I need to reinstall vis like VS, uh, whatever Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code. I don't even know which one I use right now. I think it's the purple one, and I had to reinstall that. So I was like, okay, that's gonna need at least like probably 10 to 15 gigs. So I started making some space, and now I have 63 gigs free with the damn hell. I mean, I, I deleted the thing that I uninstalled that might have had the most memory usage was the Epic Games launcher. But that should not have. D oh, <gasps> I might have uninstalled Unreal. I think that's what it is. Like the installer, it would have removed all my games. But not as if I even had any Epic Games games still installed. Because usually I play stuff, finish it on stream, and then uninstall it because I don't need it anymore. But I, I just don't know. I'm so perplexed. Where is all this space coming from? What did I delete? I didn't even- I did- huh? I'm fucking shook, and I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> Anyways, how are you doing today, Kevin? That was a very violent start to stream, I apologize, but I'm just very confused. Like, nothing bad is going on. The day's fine. It's just weird. It's been a very weird hour. <laughs> Anyways, I mean, I'm not complaining about the extra storage, but I really am just like, where is it coming from? What if in like a month, I go to uh, launch something and I'm like, oh shit. Or what if I deleted a lot of like crucial files? I'd cry. I don't know, I... I... Maya's a little laggy right now. I mean, wait, let me close Unity. Uh... There's my little dude. Look at him! I made him- actually, I haven't shown him in a while. I made him more chibi. Made him more rotund. And yo, check this shit out. Watch this spl Oh my gosh, this was so hard to fucking do, because Splines is so not user-friendly in Unity, but... 
Check this shit out. He got a little wiggle. Tired. May sleep a bit more? Oh, hell yeah. I'm always an advocate for more sleep. Busy for 10 seconds. 11. Hell yeah. 12. 13. Any day now. There we go. Entering play mode. Like, look at... I mean, it needs some tweening. Like, or, uh, tweaking. The values. But, like, look at this. It's all procedurally animated, so it's like super scalable and it's pretty lightweight because it's not, um, it's nothing to do with physics. And look, his little, little body wiggles. Hell yeah. He got arms, got a big glow up, he got his eye color changed. Okay, see, it's working. Okay, yeah, before, if I press W, he would go backwards. <laughs> Because there was some weird physics nonsense happening. There was stuff pushing him around, like, for some reason. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to close Unity because I think it's causing me some slight performance issues in Maya right now. Yeah, it's a little better. Cute, thank you. I love... I've been calling him a him. It's, it's a genderless blob, honestly, but I don't want to say it. Oh, I could say them. <laughs> and my computer's been crashing non-stop for the last two weeks. I finally fixed it. I think, what was it? Or what did you do that caused it to stop? Because that's crazy. Two weeks is like bonkers. I wouldn't be able to live without my computer for like a day, so. Like, I'm impressed that you were able to put up with that and have the patience for it. Uh, we actually probably don't need these. No, did not mean to do that. Blender's, or Maya's running a little laggy right now. Here, let me close the hub. Let me close GitHub desktop as well. Let me close everything. Yeah, okay, that's everything. I reapplied thermal paste to the thermal tubes. Oh, so it was like a temperature issue. Interesting. Yeah, that would make sense. But I'm not a very, like, engineering, like, hardware-savvy person, so <laughs> most things will make sense to me even if they don't actually make, even if the answer is nonsensical. But I'm glad your computer uh, is not crashing anymore, at least. I spent so much time bugging what software it might be, I didn't think it was hardware. Yeah, that's really frustrating. <laughs> I very much understand that pain at this exact moment in time, actually. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah, Maya's definitely a little laggy right now, especially when switching between the views. It's not unbearable, so I'll just suck it up for now, but um, if it gets worse, then I might just restart Maya real quick. What a spoiled child. I'm like, it's not so bad right now. It's, it's literally not a problem at all. <laughs> like, oh, boo-hoo, had to wait a couple seconds. Oh no. <laughs> You might have helped me out when I found out the temperature was the issue. I found out because my mom turned the heater one day and the computer crashed way more than the before. <laughs> That's a little funny. Mom debugging though, right? <laughs> I mean, uh... I know your dad is like... A tech hardware savvy person. Is your mom? I mean, I'm not saying that she turned the heater on intentionally, but I'm just in general curious about if your mom is also a bit of a tech person. 
So I guess those are two unrelated, like, events slash questions. Also not related, but you know what I've been listening to a lot recently? The Journey soundtrack. I've had it on fucking blast the whole week. It's so good. My mom knows nothing about technology. Okay, okay. That's amazing though that that's like how you found this, the problem. Solutions always come when you least expect them, and in the form that you least expect them. OST from the 2.0 update. Oh, yeah? So, Honkai... I... What is going on right now, by the way? Like, I have not really been up... Uh, like, uh, up to date on anything Genshin or Honkai particularly, but I saw that both communities are upset right now. I mean, not... I mean, who... Are we really surprised, like, you know, gacha gamers are gonna get mad? But I'm like, damn, what, what's it about this time? Well, at least Genshin side, I know something about the anniversary, which I'm just like, yeah, no, sounds about right, but... Just at each other, I think. Okay, as they are, as they are. Love that for them. JK, don't love it when people are mad at each other, it's a waste of time. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Everyone's happy with the game at the moment. That's good. Sorry. <laughs> it says sorry and then proceeds to continue to be annoying. <laughs> it's about right for me. <laughs> Maybe somewhere unhappy in a cliffhanger, though. But that's live service here, that's true. I mean, the patch will come out in a couple weeks, anyways. I need to finish playing the current Genshin event. I am so behind right now. Like, I've just been so crazy busy recently. I'm just tired, like. <gasps> I don't even have the bandwidth to button mash through dialogue in Genshin right now, isn't that crazy? <laughs> this is why I gave up on Genshin. Oh, you, have you not been playing? Good for you. <laughs> Sorry, that sounded a little sarcastic, but I mean it like, good for you. Honestly, as of late, like, I've missed a lot of dailies and shit recently, too. I've not been really keeping up very much. It's just like, you know, I'll do it when I have- on the days that I have time and energy. Which is, like, rare. <laughs> I say that as if yesterday I didn't stay up till like midnight playing games. <laughs> it was the first—it's the first time I've done that in a while, though. Honestly, and it felt really nice. Like just fuck it, I'm gonna blow off a couple of responsibilities and just play games. Because if there is something reliable about me, is like I'm an aggressively responsible person. I don't slack off too often, so when I do, it feels really good. <laughs> I 
was, I was gonna, I was about to say, don't tell my mom I said that, but I'm like, well, my, I mean, my mom probably doesn't give as many fucks. Um, <laughs> but like, my parents would be happy to hear me say I'm an aggressively responsible person, and then they, you know, my dad would probably be like, don't slack off ever, and I'm just like, I'll be like, okay, <laughs> and then proceeds to slack off. But. Uh, I had to give up on Honkai too, but I randomly just had to try the new update and it hooked me so hard. <laughs> That's how they get you. That's the thing I noticed, you know, about Genshin too. It's like when I don't, when I'm not playing it, I don't miss it at all. But then kind of when I start playing it, even for just like five minutes, I'm like, man, I kind of forgot that I have fun with this. Um... To an extent, right? And then I'll like end up getting sucked in and play for like an hour, and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> My time. <laughs> My very precious free time. But you know, I guess that's what free time is for as well. Spending it how you want to spend it. But yeah, Mabel's room is ending up like super big. Like unintentionally large, but it's okay. The new Elden Ring DLC is releasing, so that'll consume my entire week when it comes out. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw it. Was it? I think it was you. It must have been you that posted on your story, right? Because I did see someone else, like, posting about that. But that's exciting. Still making like Elden Ring YouTube videos, by the way. I truly like have not been on YouTube like genuinely in terms of like using YouTube in like months. YouTube shorts last month though. I haven't made anything Elden Ring related in about two years. Ah, okay, okay. But YouTube shorts is still cool too. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really understand shorts. It's like, I, I do, but I also don't. Like, it, it really just seems like it's meant to be like, you know, I guess Instagram feed com competition, right? I guess, like, in terms of, like, the, the usability perspective. I, or not the usability, but, like, how you engage with it, right? Or, like, an Instagram reel? I don't really know. I didn't either. And TikTok. Yeah, I'm I just, I don't know, man, anymore. <laughs> I can't keep up with the times, and I don't care to. I've given up. <laughs> the times just like you know takes time man <sighs> so 
about to say, man, that was a big yawn. Why am I so tired? And then I was irresponsible and stayed up until like 1 like one a.m. last night. 12.31 is she now? Short videos make you scroll more quickly. Which becomes crazy muscle memory. Sometimes I'm scrolling through YouTube shorts for hours in bed. Yeah, that's true. I do that on my Instagram feed sometimes. But also, hello, Wyatt. How you going today? Happy Thursday. What's good, my friend? How are you doing? Hope the week has been treating you well. And you're excited for the weekend? Because weekend! We should all be excited for the weekend. Weekends are good. Was cracking. I know you're saying like what's crack, like like as in you know what's cracking. But I also like to imagine saying like what, like you were saying you were cracking, and I'm like, oh yeah, why it's laying the, the smack down, <laughs> taking names and, and cracking heads. I, I I know that is not the saying, but I make my own I make my own version. <laughs> Uh, but to answer your question, not much is cracking. You know, I'm just chugging along. Thurs Thursdays are like, honestly, probably my favorite day of the week this semester, just because it's the day I, it's the day I get to stay home. It's the first time in my four semesters at grad school that I have a full day that I don't need to go to campus. I have class, but it's remote, and like, uh, I just really enjoy Thursdays because like. Tuesdays through Wednesdays are so chaotic for me because I have class. I'm basically on campus slash in class nonstop from 10 a.m. on Tuesday until 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Like literally, it's my my schedule is 10 to 9 on Tuesdays and then 9 to 7 on like 9 a.m. to 7 a.m. p.m. on Wednesdays. So Thursdays are just like a oh. and then Friday I'm on campus again from <laughs> from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. <laughs> but it's whatever. Sorry, I just monologued about my schedule. <laughs> sure, uh, studied a bit and made my first one to try to succeed, and I totaled like that's a lot of views. That's pretty good. Anyway, just passing to say hi. Talk soon. All right. Oops. Sorry, I monologued for too long, but thanks for stopping in, Wyatt. Hope you do indeed have a good rest of your day and a, a nice weekend. Rest up. Hell yeah. Dude, my class on um. The class that I have on Tuesday or uh, Thursdays as well, like I actually enjoy it a lot. I didn't think I would. I, I didn't think I'd enjoy. The, okay, I'm not saying that I thought it was gonna be a bad class, but I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I am enjoying it because it's like anime. It's an animation course, so I was taking it like I'm taking it for a little bit of exposure into areas I don't know much about, but also it's um, precious 500 level credit that I need to graduate right. And, like, unironically, I'm actually, like, really enjoying the class. Like, the professor is cool, the assignments are, like, pretty fun and interesting. And, like, cause he's, like, he's, like, he's, he's pretty young. He's, like, maybe, like, in his late 30s at most. He gives me, like, mid-80s, end-of-80s kind of energy baby, so, um... But like he's really uh, like a really nice teacher and like, cause I'm the only game student in that class. Everyone else is an animation student. And he's always like, yeah, fuck it, like do whatever you gotta do, like use whatever. I think we talked about this last time. He's always just like use whatever technology, whatever methodology you want, and just do the assignments. And like, in terms of just raw form, mine are naturally very different from the animation students, right? And I think even from just like thinking perspective, they're a little different. And he's always like, <laughs> today I turned in something pretty cursed. And he was like, I fuck with this. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> more than my estimate, I'm going to make some more to try and market my game in the process. Hell yeah. I mean, I know you said that you and your collaborator, like you guys, your your point, your, pers uh, your goal is like you're done when you're done. But when you guys, do you have a projection date for when you think you might be done? Like, based on your current velocity and all that jazz.
Because I saw the game right on your guys' Instagram. It looks great. You got some beautiful post-processing. Fighting for you guys. Fighting the good fight. face like I'm not sure nearly done with all the game's code but we have much more art to do that's fair that makes sense I mean like not even I don't even mean it like give me a release date but like you guys think it's like six months a year a year and a half like what's like the monthly ballpark if you could if, if you could say So you do the art. Well, the art is being finished. You'll be doing the marketing. Hell yeah. Also, Kevin, I know you are going to GDC, but do you know if your collaborator is going to be going as well? Good place to maybe do a little light network network, talky-talky about the game. <laughs> I kind of hate that I just said that, but... <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm just being nosy. So, we we're applying to some grants and showcase that are in June and September, so if we make it, those will definitely delay. We definitely will delay release until then. Oh, okay. But I mean, um. But the thing is, like, either way, so even. So you said delay. So you were thinking about finishing within the next six months, either way. Uh, or that's what your original plan was, and then, or even less than six months, right? Because you said de the word delay, not like you were going to push for that as the release date. It's kind of like that's what you guys were on the trajectory for to begin with. No, I invited her, but she said not this year. Yeah, I mean, she has to fly from Korea. That's going to be a little headache, so understandable. But yeah, maybe next year would be cool. Do you happen to know anyone else, like, going, like, from our, I guess, like, our undergrad classmates? I saw a couple of our undergrad faculty on some of the speakers, the panels. Which is, which is cool, as always. I was hoping for Mayor June. Oh, okay, so that is pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. So you guys did have an idea, even if it's not like. Again, I was I wasn't like, oh, what's your release date? But just you know, ballpark, six months, eight months, four months, a vibe, just the vibe check. But yeah, that's cool. You guys are almost done. I keep forgetting to ask you. Well, yeah, me, me too. I mean, I've kind of been just putting it off in general because, yeah, I don't know. game is so good. My friends keep playing after the playtest is done. Let's go! That's awesome! I'm 
like I said, kind of not my type of game, but like I enjoyed playing it when I tested it. Which is... Again, I'm not I, I'm not the metric to compare against, but I always think it's impressive no matter what, if it's like, if you're not the target audience, but you can still find some way to en enjoy the game, like that's really cool. Oh, why did I delete that? I did not mean to do that. Yeah, architecturally, there's so much going on in this house, but I don't give a fuck. It's fun looking. So I don't think I can listen to the Journey soundtrack on stream, but I just suddenly had a thought. Is there a... No, we gotta look for some Journey jazz, maybe. <laughs> Some, some of the actual sewing props in here now, so... Okay, let me grab my reference sheet. Alright. Let's just start with the sewing machine, you know? The classic. Spelled machine wrong? It only has one E. <laughs> These all look like cake mixers to me. Gosh, go away. Why have I been getting slack pings recently? Hold up, real quick. <laughs> We're gonna fucking uninstall slack. I don't use it on my desktop at all. Bye, okay. 
I hope I didn't traumatize anyone. Hello! Hey, baby, how's it going? Took me a hot second, I was like, what day of the week is it? Happy Thursday! How you doing? Also, why is there a sewing machine with the... Co oh, it's for stitching. I was about to say, what does this have to do with bait? Okay. But I just realized it's for sti it was representing stitching the glove. But okay, we'll do this one. It's kind of cute. No, I use WeChat at work. That's funny. That's kind of funny. Goddamn WeChat. Right, because you said uh, you work for a Chinese company. Uh, goddamn WeChat. <laughs> All my Chinese classmates, they, they really just walk. They, like, all the, like, you know, the, a lot of the first years, like, when they first started last August, right, they're like, can I add you on WeChat? I'm like, I don't have a fucking WeChat. <laughs> I mean, I actually do, but I don't use it! Like, I have it just because, like, last summer when my classmates went back to China for a bit, it was, like, just the easiest way to keep in touch, but, like, you know, they're back in the States and everything, and I'm like, I'm not fucking using WeChat! <laughs> I already use so like, and I got nothing against WeChat. I just already have so many messaging platforms, and I'm like, it's too much for my brain to handle, man. There's Discord, there's Slack, there's Messenger, there's Line, there's Instagram messages. It's too much. My brain's gonna explode. There's always people after me for something, and I'm just like, leave me alone. <laughs> I only use it for family and now work. Yeah, that's fair. I don't know, just something about WeChat is just funny to me. Not funny, but... Because <sighs> I feel like WeChat is like a lot more social media-y than um, like other mess messaging apps. Like... You know, it actually has, I mean, that's, again, because it's, like, the only communication app, I guess, for China. So it's, like, a little more overloaded in terms of, like, functionality, but, like, the, like it has, like, the social media type timeline, stuff like that. Very interesting. I mean, like, Line has it, too, but I've found, like, not many people use it online, honestly. At least not for the same purpose of, like, sharing stuff with their friends. It's like I've seen it more like people with like official plat quote, quote official platforms online like like marketing type that they post stuff right on the timeline, um, but like my friends and stuff like don't post anything. Again, not me about to be like, why am I so tired? And then remembered I was irresponsible. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. I use WhatsApp when I used to work at a boba shop, but that makes more sense since it was a more casual job. Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. And I'm assuming, like, if you worked at the boba shop, you're, like, kind of more part-time, too. It's, like, uh, presumably. I mean, I... I feel like... Because, like, for full-time business communications, it's definitely not so great to use a messaging app. But when it's just, like, talking amongst, like, co -work, like, your manager and co-workers, it makes more sense, right? I don't know, I actually, I actually don't use WhatsApp either, but I know, I've heard WhatsApp is pretty popular.
Actually, I didn't want to even bevel that because I want some edges to be a little bit less beveled than others. Now that I'm looking at the reference, like this, this won't need to be as sharp of a bevel. Or sorry, as soft of a bevel, not sharp, the other way around. Okay, wait, I still kind of mess- not mess- it's not that I- uh, after seeing it, I'm realizing I don't want this to be super beveled either. Actually, wait, this- wait, okay, so this doesn't need to be beveled yet. We'll bevel that edge later together with everything else. Okay, that's better. these either. Yeah, after all these years I still don't really like know- I, can't, I still have a hard time predicting the bevel behavior, but whatever. I was gonna say, using Slack for a random part-time job is funny, but then I remember I did that once. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've, I- oh no, I have used Slack for professional work, JK. But like, now we've really migrated to Discord just so much, which annoys me a little bit to some extent, because I hate getting like work-ish messages on Discord, because I'm like, bruh, this is my- my gaming time, stuff like that, but it's whatever. Okay, this is- I, I- I don't- this is not gonna look right because of this- this two edges, yeah. I mean, it's not that bad, actually, though. But let's let's make a cut here, and I think that will help it look a bit better. Using Discord for work is funnier. Yeah, it's pretty cursed. I mean, it's I wouldn't. To be fair, I wouldn't say. Well, the thing is, the funny thing is, for faculty, they do use it for work. For me personally, it's. It's like school-related work, right? So it's like for projects and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's a little less funny, but goddamn. Yeah, I have faculty, right? Like, they definitely use it for work. <laughs> Do you use a different Discord account? Nope, I use the same fucking one. And maybe that's... I've been thinking about, because Discord now has a beta feature where they let you have multiple Discord accounts open at the same time, right? Like, I need the separation then. But at this point, I've been using Discord so much since, like, in grad school that it's like, it'd be hard kind of to open a new... Well, I would have to open a new personal Discord more than anything. Like, my current Discord would just be used for, like, I guess, like, still be used for stream stuff, but then, like quote quote work slash professional stuff and then I would make a new discord just for like personal use but I gotta admit I'm actually really not a huge fan of having a million accounts like even with emails I really struggle to maintain like just like two like like three right or even two because like I have one for school and then I have one for like other professional type stuff and then I have a personal one and I'm like damn one of them gets neglected no matter what all the time like, two of them will have clean inboxes, the other one will have fucking 500 emails that just doesn't get looked through forever. I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. <laughs> Honestly, life as a hermit sounds pretty dang good. Good ch A 
agree, yeah. More than ever recently, I'm like, I just want to drive into the mountains <laughs> and cease to exist. <laughs> okay, not cease to exist, but I just want to, like, drive into the mountains and everyone leave me alone. <laughs> Feeling a little stressed lately. Not stressed, but... Uh, just there's so much stuff going on right now. I think I mentioned this a while ago though, but funnily enough in the last couple years I feel like I've kind of lost the ability to feel stress. And not in- I, I wonder if it's just like I've developed such strong repression of stress strategies. Or like at this point I've, I, I definitely have become a lot more don't give a fuck any, like about anything for sure. So I think that helps, like not giving a fuck. <laughs> I don't know why, but that just triggered a very vague, or uh, very like specific memory I had of just a couple days ago, on campus, like in in one of the labs, like someone has been using one of the big white because like in the labs have like wall to wall whiteboards, and someone has had shit written on it for like close to a month now. And it's kind of important stuff. It's like thesis stuff. But I literally like walked up, took a picture, and I'm like. They can take a picture and just like, use, like, print it out. Like, they, they don't get to occupy these whiteboards for, like, ever. Just because they're like, oh, those are our important notes. They don't get to, like, hog the space like that for a month, right? And, like, the person who's using the boards, like, I don't think they like me very much. And I'm like, I don't really like them either, to be fair. They're kind of a narcissist. But I literally, because I, like, I was in a meeting, right, with, like, a project that I'm on. And I was like, let's just use the whiteboard. And then everyone's like, no, 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 those are blah, blah, blah's notes. And I literally was like, I do not give a fuck. I said that, like, out loud and just went up and erased everything. <laughs> Took a picture and erased everything. That's, like, the, that is kind of the saddest example I've ever heard of I don't give a fuck. Like, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, I erased someone's whiteboard. What a fucking dweeb. But... I really feel like I'm in my I don't give a fuck face. Yeesh. <laughs> I mean, I'm having a great time, honestly. With like everything now, like like a lot of I don't know. A lot less bothers me these days than they used to. Which is like nice though, because I feel like I used to get really bothered by a lot of things for no reason. I mean, things still bother me, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I feel like I've learned to just not care so much about stuff that really doesn't matter, which is a nice feeling. And it has like a lot of practical applications too. Like these days, like, I used to... I've been thinking a lot in general, right? Like, about how I've become a different person in the last couple years. Uh, I mean, inevitably people change, but specifically in response to having, like, gone through, right, oh, like, three and a half semesters of- oh my god, we're happy with this semester. Three and a half semesters of grad school now, like, experiences like that will change you a lot. And I'm like, nowadays, I literally do not give a fuck. I, I full send show everyone my work. I don't mean it as in, like, go around like flaunting it but like someone's like can I see what you're working on I'm like yeah sure whatever like I feel a lot less attached to in the past I used to be a lot more hesitant about showing my work if I felt it wasn't perfect <laughs> don't mess with Pinky man she's hardcore she'll erase you hell yeah <laughs> hell yeah yeah <laughs> I didn't even see your hell yeah but I said hell yeah too BB let's fucking go so I'm gonna I want something to put my feet up on. That's something I miss about my old apartment from New York. Like, there was a bit of a- they had like a- it was like a vent, under, like, perfectly underneath my desk that I could kind of, like, lightly prop my feet up on. But I don't have that here, so I need to get some sort of- I'll use this little- Wow, that's dusty as fuck! I don't care. Uh, yeah, honestly, we have so many cardboard boxes in the living room because my roommates order a lot of mail or packages. I should really just go grab one of those and 
put it on my, put it underneath my desk. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess this is a general que general question for D for everyone. Like, how do, how do you guys feel like you've changed in the last couple years? And the last couple years have been fucking wild. Let's just put it that way, right? <laughs> How, how do people feel different? Do people feel different? What? Why is this here? When did I... Did I... Paste it in at some point by accident. I think I did. I might have hit Control V by mistake. That's always something that funny that funnies me. I find really funny about Maya is that like it really saves a history on the last thing you copied. Like if it, even between opening and closing the file, it's kind of crazy. Get a footrest. I got one, and it's really nice as my feet can't reach before because my floor is uneven and my swivel chair keeps swiveling. That's that's funny. I mean, uh, I've been thinking about getting as well, like, one of those, like, standing stool chairs, like, on wheels, because I kind of like to... I have a standing desk, right? And sometimes I, like, half squat on the armrest of my chair, which has made my chair a little uneven, TBH, because I, like, squat on it. Not great for the chair, but whatever. Because um, I kind of prefer, like, half standing, half sitting. Because sitting feels not great on my tailbone, but then standing feels not good on my, like, feet. So... I don't know, I'm thinking about it. But, I don't know. Also, like, because it's, it's every once in a while that I like to treat myself to something, like, in terms of improving my setup, but I did get a new monitor in, um... I know monitor and chair are very different things, of course, but I did get a new monitor last year during Black Friday. And it was on sale, or Cyber Monday, I don't remember when I got it. It was on sale, but doesn't change the fact that it was still, like, $250 in the end. I need a softer chair? I don't think so. I mean, I have a mesh chair. I, I do really like my chair. It's literally, it's it's more of my back. I need a new spine. <laughs> Mostly just in, in general, a general improvement of mental health and confidence. That's good. That's what we love to hear. I feel like in, in terms of like f improvements, like you are you hit two of the three be best things to hear in terms of physical, like or in, I don't know. That's that's a very weird categorization, categorization, generalization. But I'm like I don't know. Three things when I feel really happy for people when they say they've improved in that regard is like confidence slash like self esteem, uh, and like mental health and physical health. You know, like exercising, eating better, stuff like that. <laughs> I think I changed a lot. Sometimes I think back to the cursed conversations we or me and Sam specifically used to have and I die. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. We uh I mean, yeah. <laughs> Those were definitely times. Those were times indeed. <laughs> I can say with absolute confidence that, like, I'm glad we are all more mature people now, but you know, it's still fun. It's a fond memory, but it's just best to leave it in the past, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I lost 55 pounds last year, so physical health too. Let's fucking go! Kevin has hit the holy trinity. But that's very, very awesome. Very happy for you. I'm having war flashbacks just thinking about it. No. 
Okay, it wasn't that bad. I'm saying that as a, as a don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, I still just... I don't know. I got it. Something else I was reflecting on recently um, is, like... It's kind of crazy that, like... There was a period of time, right, when it was like... Oh, yeah, okay. Like, globally declared pandemic is over. But, like, I personally still was wearing a mask for, like, up to about, like... Uh, okay, wait, let me Google real quick. Um, when did... Not the not globally, but when did um, the U.S. declare or s declare the pandemic over? Okay, so it was officially over as of May 11, twenty twenty-three. Wait, that feels a little late. Uh, I guess like when did? Because I do know, like, so USC at least stopped requiring masks at the start of 2023, that semester, like spring 2023. But I do know that I kept wearing my mask basically until about the end of August. Yeah. And then I came into the new semester in the autumn and was kind of like, okay, I uh, wore a mask for like the first couple weeks of school because a lot of people were traveling. And, like, a lot of people were coming back to L.A., so a lot of, like, foreign germs coming back. But then after that, I stopped wearing my mask. Aside from, like, the days that I felt, like, ill. Like, and now if I still- now if I ever feel sick, I still wear a mask at school. But, like, I just kind of think about how, like, I, re I very distinctly remember saying, like, I don't know if I'm ever gonna feel comfortable not wearing a mask again. And I'm like, damn, though, how easy it was to go back. I mean, I- don't get me wrong, I like, I did not, I didn't wear it because like, I didn't enjoy it, but I was, or I didn't wear it because I enjoyed it, but I was like, this is necessary, this is a necessary precaution for the rest of our lives, but even I was like, damn, I'm like, I'll be out of here. I became, in, there are always struggles to overcome, and I became enlightened after quitting Genshin. That is so true. How disappointed would you be if I told you that I do still play? <laughs> Definitely not to the same quantities as before, but I still play, I would say on average, like at least five days out of the week. On average. There, there's, there's, sometimes when I'm really busy, I'll miss like several days in a row, but I still mostly log on for like 15, 20 minutes a day. Get my dailies. <laughs> Why does this all all like this look so um, like not smooth? Um, it's just like softened edge. I've already like softened. It like looked fine, yeah, and then it randomly keeps getting like not smooth. No judgment. Judgment. I just didn't like the person I was when I played Genshin. That's that makes that's fair. I mean, I guess um, if you don't mind me asking, like, do you would you, which which one you know which one's the chicken and or not? Uh, what I'm having a stroke. Not the chicken and egg. That's the wrong uh, knowledge uh, metaphor comparison. I meant it like um, do you feel? Are you saying that like when you played Genshin, Genshin made you a person you didn't like? You you made you someone you didn't like, or is it just a negative association because you played Genshin at a time of your life that you didn't like who you were? If that makes sense. <laughs> I realized how much doing my dailies drained me. It was like another task on a list of to-dos, yeah. I, th I think these days when I just feel tired and I really just don't have the- like, I just don't feel like playing, the that's when I just like don't log on and I'm just like, whatever. Um, Cause like I said as well, like, I still like enjoy playing Genshin to some extent, but it's just like, I I'll play it at my own pace and like what I feel like doing that day. Cause like I still really like a lot of things, like the open world exploration is pretty fun. 
And I just like, I, I really, I think the atmosphere is really nice. I like running around, but yeah, I usually just like don't engage if there's something I don't feel like doing. <laughs> I am interested in what? Uh, withering waves? Withering waves? Withering waves. Let's see. It's a game that features open world exploration. Let me mute it just in case there's audio. Is this also uh, Hoyoverse? Mi Hoyo? Oh, so it's not- okay, it's not Mihoyo. When I play Genshin Nagalai, it made me really toxic seeing other people have better gacha luck than me, and I also agree with the above towards the end of it. I was just logging in to do daily this week, and it was draining and not fun, for sure. For sure. And yeah, I, I, I think, I mean, I think that's part of, like, that is part of what gacha games want you to do. They want you to feel jealous of other people, so it encourages you to spend money, you know? So, it's not good, but don't. Don't 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 be too hard on yourself. I don't know if you are being, but it's just how gotcha games work. It's nasty. They just copied a lot of Genshin. Okay, got it. Also, hello, playing meow. How you going? I became a lame when I stopped playing Destiny 2. I played it once in like last week, but that doesn't count. XZ. <laughs> okay, listen. I just gotta say, I feel you, brother, because I've been playing a lot of League again recently. Like, I think I've played more League in the last like two weeks than I have in the last, I'd say, six months, which is... Okay, six months is kind of an exaggeration. Maybe, like, since, like, November-ish, I guess? Which is, like, good and is... Depending on the metric, right? Because I didn't play that much League uh, in the last few months. Because I haven't been playing normals. I'll just play, like, one or two ARAMs a day a lot of the time. And not even... Like, I would go several days without playing, too. So, like, I feel like in the last, like... Two, three months, I've probably averaged, say, like, two, a couple, like, a couple hours of league every day, uh, or a week, sorry, per week, not every day, because I was busy with school and shit, and then I was only playing ARAMs, but, like, in the last week, I've been playing a lot of normals again <laughs> with a friend, and it's crazy. I'm just like, damn. So, more league in the last two weeks is both crazy and not crazy. Crazy because it's still, it's still a lot of league, but also, like... On the bright side, it's not as if, like, tw like tens of twenties of hours, but I will say, playing, like, eight normals games in the last two weeks, that's kind of wild. <laughs> I mean, meow, yeah, who are you, and what have you done with Fang? Sometimes I think about logging to Genshin again, but I stop myself. That's, I mean, honestly, you are not missing much at all. Cause I, like I haven't played yet today. I didn't play yesterday either. Cause I haven't really, f I didn't really feel like it. I might log on later. But what am I trying to do here? Like I keep making an edge and then deleting it. No! Oh, bro. Well, there we go. Why is Unity opening in the back? What the? I think that's just a visual bug. Like, do you see there's nothing open? There's no Unity open. Bruh. End task. Okay, JK, it's not just a bug. Okay, let's save this again. I uninstalled Leak. Good for you! Again, sorry, that always sounds sarcastic, but I'm like, good for you! No, genuinely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, I gotta, I gotta kind of keep an eye on it because I'm like, I, I, I've been playing again recently as well because I've kind of enjoyed it. So like, I don't particularly mind that I've been like playing it, but like, definitely, I gotta, I'm always cautious of like video games as like a coping mechanism, no matter what, or just like, co I think, well, that's wrong wording too, because coping mechanism I think is fine too, or. Like, for emotional relief, stress relief, coping, I think is fine, but it's more just like, am I coping and avoiding responsibilities, right? It's okay if I use it for de-stressing, like, because, like, de-stressing, using it to de-stress is, like, also still a form of coping, and I think that's fine, as long as you're not, like, skirting other things you genuinely have to be doing. So, I'm very ca cautious of that, because, like I said, I I'd like to be a... <clears throat> Excuse me, I like to think of myself as a responsible person, but also, like, right now in my life, I really don't have time to slip. Right? I, I really don't. <laughs> I got a thesis to make. Helldivers is my cope right now. One or two? There's that new one, right? chat um sorry i looked over to my um because i got a ping in my cohort discord one of our faculty is actually leaving like not permanently like leaving the school it's more just like he's gonna go teach at another university for a couple of years and he's still gonna be affiliated with usc during this time but um and still work like doing work it's just that he's gonna be living in hong kong um and right doing stuff at that university, so we're having like a bit of a, we're having a send-off party for him on Sunday, because a lot of us like are really close with this particular faculty. And I'm sad. I was actually kind of um, uh, I was thinking about asking him to be my thesis advisor, or one of them. I mean, he still can be, obviously, because he's still going to be affiliated with the university, but I will say, like, the fact that he's not going to be here in person is a little bumming. I'd really rather have my faculty, like, around for in-person meetings and, you know, stuff like that. But, you know, he's a very caring professor and, like, so I'm still, I don't mean it as in, like, yeah, no, I'm not considering him for my advisor at all anymore, but it is sad. Just replying real quick to get make sure we all got the memo.
big is the radius? Where's the, where's the, oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> I was like, where's the bounding circle? There, there it is. Hey nerd, how you going? Nerd! <laughs> What's good though? You at work or you just get home? So what should I have for dinner? I haven't eaten yet, and I would thought I, I want. I kind of was thinking about making egg sandwiches, but I kind of don't really feel like cooking. I'm a little tired today. It's been a long day. How's it going? It's going. It's pretty good. I mean, I know I just said it's been a long day, but like it's been a pretty good day. Pretty productive. I had class. You know, I like. I enjoy the class that I had. I mean, I enjoy all my classes this semester, very fortunately, but the class today really is, like, big chill energy. The professor's, like, just vibing, I think. You know, he doesn't give a fuck. I and mean, he gives a fuck, of course, but, like, he's pretty chill. And I enjoy his vibes, so... And it's also, like, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, low involvement class, but kind of a class where you can kind of just, like, really just, like, listen and have a good time. It's not too much, like, super active participation. Like, not to say I don't like those classes, but they can be really exhausting. And, like, my classes on Monday and Tuesday are extremely high levels of participation. Like, super involved, because it's my thesis prep um, lab and, like, studio plus lecture section, so it's a lot of talking and, like, pitching and whatever. And, like, active listening, too, right? So... It's very tiring. Pasta sandwich. <laughs> I was about to say, what does one put in a pasta sandwich? But knowing y'all fuckers, you're gonna say pas pasta. <laughs> and you know what? I'd respect the answer. I'd be like, you know, I walked into that one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I got you downloaded, bro. What'd you expect? What else if not pasta? I don't know. That's what I that's why I said I didn't ask, because I knew the answer. I hate asking questions that like nobody really needs to answer, right? It's a waste of time.
cheese. Oh, cheese does sound really good. Oh, a burger sounds really good right now, actually. Like a burger with cheesy fries. Oh. You know what? Maybe I'll just eat something really simple today for dinner. Because it's kind of late now, right? If Even though I ordered it now, I wouldn't get here probably until like 8 or 8.30. Uh, I'll have something simple today and then I'll get a burger tomorrow. It's like a nice Friday treat. Yeah, I like that plan. I, I do quite like that plan. Nice. And, okay, we're gonna open that resident services file real quick. We might actually have to re-pull it from- WHAT?! WHY IS MY STORAGE SPACE GOING UP?! What is going on?! Nuru, by the way! By the way, actually, I feel like, Nuru, you'd be very interested in this particular story. So, you know how I'm always fucking fighting for my life in terms of storage? Uh, wait, cold mashed potato sandwich? What's your fa favorite fast food burger? I do really like, uh... I think Shake Shack's pretty good, because I, I don't actually like getting burgers all the time. I do like chicken sandwiches, though, because I like chicken. Um, anyways... <laughs> No, 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 but look at this, Narun. I don't need to uninstall Genshin. Look, 72, 70 gigs? It was 60, 60 something at the start of stream, by the way. Like 63, I think? It's up to 70 now. Don't know what fucking happened. So here's, here's, here's what happened, though. I was having mad Unity problems today, like hella Unity issues. So that's when I went to, I thought it was my Mac, because, you know, Unity on Mac can be, like, super buggy. Um... And so I spend a lot of time getting the repo onto GitHub, transferring the, the project from my Mac to desktop, and I had to reinstall Unity versions because I haven't done robust development like Unity side in a while, so I, I removed Unity versions from my computer to save storage. But I had to re-download it today, and I was like, okay, well, at the start of the day, I only had 20 gigs. And I was like, okay, Unity plus reinstalling Visual Studio is going to need probably 15 at least. So, it, let, let me clear some space. So I just went through, and I just went through and deleted a bunch of shit, like old files I didn't need, finally transferred over some like old like exports, whatever, and everything downloaded just fine. And then when I started stream though, and I was like, wait a minute, what? Why do I have 60 gigs? Why is this blue? Why is this shit blue? And I thought it was because like maybe the local disk and my hard drive had swapped positions or something, but I'm like, no, all three of these motherfuckers are blue. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I think, well, I suspect maybe what happened, because I uninstalled the Epic Games Launcher, which, like, I don't even know why it still had, because I haven't opened anything through Epic um, in a long time, right? Because, like, it's not even like I had any... I mean, usually with games, I just play them, finish them, and uninstall, because I don't need them anymore anyways. But I think maybe when I uninstalled the Epic Games Launcher, I also uninstalled Unreal. I don't... which I haven't opened in well over a year. I think that that might be what happened. But I'm like, what? How did I get more storage between the start of stream and now? What? I'm fucking shook. Just... It's crazy. Okay, uh... I need to find... Anyways, though, I also discovered that it was a Unity problem, not my Mac. So I apologize to my Mac for blaming it. But man, I fucking hate development on my Mac right now. I think it's on... Wait, I gotta yoink the file from the hard drive. Residence. I'm looking for the resident services file. I need to organize. I really need to organize the drive too. <sighs> but now I'm just like worried as well. Like, did I delete something important? <laughs> I really hope I didn't delete anything important. I mean, to be fair, everything that I like deleted, I also moved over to the external hard drive first. So it all still exists somewhere, but yikes <laughs> if I did delete something really important. Oof!
62 to 70. Yes. Yeah. Like, I just. I, yeah, whatever. Anyways, how's your day going? <laughs> Oh wow, why is all that like huge? Um Delete a file still exists in your PC and recycle them until they get empty 30 days or manual. Um <laughs> I mean it's not a big deal. I don't To be fair, there's nothing like so important that I think like my life would explode if I truly deleted it and lost the file, but it would be an more of an no annoyance, but whatever. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> That's another topic we covered today in the stream as well. I'm literally in my I don't give a fuck face. <laughs> Unless something to do with OBS is making it a recording. I don't know. I, th I it, it must be that I uninstalled Unreal. I think that's what it is. Cause right, I just it deleted the entire Epic Games like package from my computer. Like, wait. Yeah, it's not here anymore. I mean, I the funny thing is, I didn't even realize I still had Unreal on it. I still had Unreal installed, but the thing is. I don't anywhere in my memory have rec like I don't have any memory of uninstalling Unreal either is the thing so it would have logically still been installed somewhere right I know Windows also ca can use storage memory as RAM but it shouldn't use that much yeah it does it does do that but it like it kind of cleans itself regularly too from what I understand like your uh, you run out. Windows can use a bit of your storage space as RAM, but it's not a big amount, really. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just weird. <laughs> Uninstalling Epic should also uninstall Unreal, but uninstalling, but installing wouldn't make more files. Yeah, but having the engine right would be def. Like it's it's like right when I installed Unity again, like it it did suddenly take up another like 12, 15 gigs. This song has haunted you since you last played it. This is the will be jazz, but let's see. Okay, I have because it's just looping, but. I think it's idle. Nope. No, we want the... Yeah, it's idle. Yeah. <laughs> I had to listen to it for a hot sec. Baby, do you still play a lot of rhythm games, by the way? Just like general curiosity. I can't imagine you don't, but you know, thought I'd ask.
picked up some new rhythm games as well, like Taiko and Kitadora Dr Oh, I haven't heard of the latter one. I regularly po Wait, really? I don't use TikTok, but you could drop a plug. I've never used TikTok either. It's okay. I've I uh, my friend um because this is like in the summertime we were both talking about like Tears of the Kingdom and I would always type T O T K and he was like I know you're not but for some reason my brain keeps thinking you're typing TikTok and I was like oh so from there we started spelling out the words Tears of the Kingdom again. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> let's see. Let's 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 watch some TikToks real quick. <laughs> Log into TikTok. No, thank you. Oh. Oh. It's Kirby. <laughs> I feel, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's cat TikToks and rhythm games, I love it. featured on Street Pug. Let's go! <laughs> Internet famous, TikTok famous, and stream famous. Or Twitch famous. So I kind of got to pee, like, real bad. I might... Sprint it to the bathroom real quick. Yeah, you know what? I'll be back. Hee hee!
needs to pay rent and you're making the poor guy pay rent? You know what? Totally understandable. It's time for him to carry his own weight. He gotta pay his own meals, too. make an ironing board. Ironing board. And I guess, I'm looking at, I'm just looking at a reference and they've got some weird like, oh, okay, we need to make the spool of thread too, that's important. Like, so we're gonna need a yarn texture, yarn, yarn texture at some point. Scale like that, bruh. Okay, that's like proportional to scale. Cats make six, fig six figures from brand deals? That's crazy. I still can't believe, by the way, Grumpy Cat is dead. <laughs> I know that's old news, but I still like can't believe that, you know, the Grumpy Cat cat is dead. <laughs> it's just weird. Like, you know, cultural icon. Wait, what? When? It was a couple years now. When did Grumpy Cat die? I think it's been at least two or it's been at least two or three years. Yeah, May of May 2019. That cat died before the pandemic. I think Doge is still alive. I think. So, wait. Uh, is the Doge Doge Do Doge Doge is the Doge dog alive? Oh no, Doge Dog died too quite recently. Oh, wait no. He's alive. JK, JK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's I I, saw, I read it wrong. Ko Kabosu. Kabosu. Uh no no no, not the restaurant Do Doge. Let's see, how old are they? I mean, that picture is from 2010, though. The Doge getting kind of old, too. No, 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 they're alive. I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. Cutie. 18 years old! That is so old.
I'm sorry, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not mean to make you think that a uh, doge dog is dead. Doge dog's oh my gosh, it's a mouthful. So yeah, I don't like I actually really uh mesh separate. I don't like I mean, because the reference I looked at has this panel thing, but I don't like it. It's very weird and chunky. Like, I'd rather just... Let's do this. At the 50, yeah. Then... A little random, but I mean relevant, too. I just, I love making stuff. Making stuff is so fun. I also don't know why this stretch to the other side, because it's a knob. Um... Doge, doge, dog, doge. I think that just looks so much better, and then we can just make this the same color. Uh, oops. It's not blue, it's like a lavender purple, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. Um. <laughs> Again, in my don't give a fuck face, truly. <laughs> Also, probably actually use the carts. So, let me. Uh, who has the cart in their house? Um, it's a little rolly cart. Um, okay, I did not get saved in any of these, so I gotta. Can we get out from the hard drive? Yeah, I kind of indiscriminately, like, just literally dragged and dropped a shit ton of files that I haven't like really actively used that much in the last few months. But like I use them passively in the sense that right I like dig through other files for that uh, specific assets, but I think it might have been this one. I mean I don't gotta worry about storage anymore because apparently I got 70 fucking gigs. It's crazy. Like what happened? Like, I'm 99% I'm certain it's the, um, Unreal thing. Like, shortly. What's it? This is not her apartment. This is the Isabel house. What? I've- I'm so confused. Huh? The file get what the damn hell? I have 
concerns. <laughs> Should be this one. Should, should, this file should should work too. Yeah. What the? Hell? I thought it was, I thought it was, I was worried for a second. It might just load that Isabel house again. Yeah, the, the, the truly very cursing moment where it flows the amount of copying and pasting that happens, and like, oh, look at all these pasted material shit, I hate it. But, I'm not gonna change, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. This is gonna be ri a very random question, but like, what's something about daily life that like you guys appreciate? Like something that reliably happens in your day to day that it's just like it's kind it's kind of nice. Or like, you know, like what's a what's a what's a very like uh, little thing in life that like brings you joy? You know, just curious. It's a very abstract question. <laughs> Or not abstract, but it's very random out of the blue question. Yummy food, hell yeah, that's a great one. 
when the neighbor's cat runs through their porch and I get to make noises from the window and it ignores me and runs away. Oh. Okay, I I love that. That's really cute. Yummy food's also a good one. Oh man, just like I I love eating meals. <laughs> Wait, what? This oh Actually in a way this is kind of better. It's a little tighter. IDK TPH, that's fine too. I mean, you don't have to answer. I was just kind of curious if anyone had any, like, you know, if you did have a gut instinct reaction to that question, like, but totally all good if you, if you don't really have an answer. I got some catnip just waiting for the plants to grow. <laughs> Sprinkle a trail to your door, I love it. <laughs> little, with a little cat trap. Yeah, but like kind of the reason I asked this is just because like like daily joy is something I've just been thinking about a lot lately because like you know Especially like I mean grad school. I feel like I'm always on the fucking move But like you know you settle into a routine at some point and something a lot of things become really predictable and it's just like Day in day out recently feels really same for me. So I'm just kind of like um not centered no wonder it looked weird um yeah like I just realized recently that I've had like really strong appreciation for like oh when I'm walking to class and it's like really nice and sunny it's just like the Sun feels really good on my skin and like taking a deep breath feels really nice small things like that the stray cat that comes to my backyard is really cute I want to steal her to do it your cat These are not even centered correctly. LOL. I was just lining them up with random ass lines.
I'm also trying, but she's good at escaping my grasp. Slippery. I, so, because I don't plan, I, I do plan to move um, in the summertime before my last uh, year. Because next year I'll basically just be doing thesis. I won't need to be around campus so much. So I'm thinking about moving out further, and I'm kind of like, I really ought to get a place that lets pets, that allows pets. I mean, it's not like my current place right now actually doesn't. Like, we have a pet rabbit in the house. But I'm like, well, now I'm just like thinking about actually like, you know, financially committing to getting one. Yeah, we actually have two rabbits in the house right now. I, I believe one of them's a foster, though. But yeah, they're two little bunnies. Their names are Ruby and Opal. Opal is the one that actually belongs to my roommate, and Ruby is the foster. It was so funny. Last week, they were not getting along. They were fighting, so... My flatmate literally took them out into the kitchen and put them on a blanket on the kitchen table. It was like, okay, sort out your issues because you guys are being territorial. <laughs> it's their little get-along blanket. Just moved to New Zealand. We have pets. It's just a little further away from uni. You know what? So true. Like, bet. I'm on my fucking way. I don't give a fuck. I need to stop saying that! <laughs> Why am I in my I don't give a fuck phase? I mean, I guess in all fairness, it's a good phase to be in. Like, I don't give a fuck is kind of a nice feeling. But it is a tad bit cursed, the frequency with which I'm just like, I don't give a fuck, robs a bank. <laughs> I love this I don't give a fuck phase, yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, so the story I told earlier, I think, I don't think you had gotten here yet, right? It's like, I mean, this is a, this is a stupid example, but it's like, I, um, like the other day I was having a meeting in, um, our, like the innovation, like we have an innovation lab, which is just like a big, right? It's just a big lab. Um, and it has like, like he, these huge wall, like wall to wall whiteboards. And we were talking about something, I don't remember what we were talking about, but we were like, okay, um, let's draw on the- it would be great if we could draw on the whiteboard, but someone, like, the, uh, one of the thesis students in the space had, uh, big diagrams on the whiteboard, but they'd had those diagrams up for months now, and, like, they really could have just taken a picture and erased the board, um, and I was like, you know what? Like, this is not their board, this is the share board for the lab, like, like, they can take a picture, or like, and, you know, return the board for everyone to use. So I took a picture of it, and then I just, like, um... But yeah, my, my, my team was like, no, 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 you know, that's their stuff, and it looks important, because they're still looking at it all the time, and I'm like, they can take a picture, and print it out, and put it on their fucking wall. I don't give a fuck. And she walked up and erased, like, a lot of really important diagrams. <laughs> Again, the nerdiest example of I don't give a fuck, but truly. And it's the even funnier part is like this person, I don't think they like me very much. And like, again, I don't give a fuck because I don't like them that much either. <laughs> Maybe if it was someone I liked more, I wouldn't have been so I don't give a fuck and not erase the board. But I was like, I'm not having it. I'm really not. This is, this is a common shared space. You do not own this whiteboard. And it had been months. Like, I'm not joking when I say months. It's been there since at least December. I don't have the time for people who don't have a mutual respect, for sure. And again, it's a shared space, and it's like... Like... Sorry, I'm having a stroke. What was I thinking? Um, in terms of like... 
Oh, wait, I actually, no, I'm not going to delete that, but I, I, I kind of want to use this one instead. Um, one, because it's already modeled, but two, it has a little bit more complex, like, layering, which I like. Um... But yeah, no, like, for real, man. Again, common space, like, ple like... Like, don't be a dick. <laughs> and the funny thing is, like, uh, uh, uh... A couple weeks ago as well, this person kind of, like... Okay, just to be a little gossipy and... Com not gossipy, but, you know, air my dirty laundry a little bit. Um, a couple weeks ago, I was working in the lab as well because... So the lab is technically a shared space between thesis students and research neuro. Um, <laughs> the lab is a shared space between thesis students and research projects, and I'm on a research project. I'm not a thesis student, not right now, right? Um, so there's three thesis students who are in, who are located in the lab, and each of them has like a cubicle, and that, like that's their cubicle. Um, what does that say? 80%? Okay, 80%. Sorry, give me one second while I'm having a stroke about this. Um, but yeah, so each of the- okay, now that I figured this out, um, each of the students- each of the thesis students has a cubicle. Um, but they don't own the lab space, right? They just have a cubicle within the lab. Because the lab is like, it's basically, the structure is basically, it's like a big, it's like a big oval. And then on the edges, there's like four cubicles. And then in the center, there's like a divide. And that divides it into two basically little common lounge type areas with big tables for common meetings. Um, and yeah, again, shared space, right? So, why is it like this? Um... Last a couple weeks ago, right? I was sitting in the in just the la uh, the meeting areas because no one was there. I was just sitting there working, and one of the this this guy came up and he was like, "Hey, uh, we're gonna have a meeting here soon." And I was like, "Oh, cool, no worries." I mean, like, do you guys need the full table? It's like a really big table. It can seat up to like probably like ten to twelve. And he, uh, I was like, "Yeah, I'll just sit on this side of the table, like if it's okay." And he's like, "Actually, it's kind of distracting. Like, can you leave?" And I was like, "Bruh." It's a big table. You're a meeting of three people. And like, I kind of was like, yeah, I know that we don't like each other, which is probably why you're specifically kicking me out. But I was like, god damn, bro. So I really, that day when I was with the whiteboard, I was like, no, I don't give a fuck. I'm erasing your shit. We need this whiteboard. <laughs> and like, I don't really care, honestly. Like, I'm not... I don't care enough to be like, bro, you don't need this table for 12 for your three-person meeting, and I, I'm totally silent here. I'm literally just, like, typing at my keyboard. Is the typing sound so annoying? Like, I'm not- I don't- I don't care enough to, like, have started the fight about it, but- Um, or argument about it, but when the, when it was like, yeah, I want to use this whiteboard, I don't care. <laughs> Wait, that happens? Why do you have, you why do you have steam open? You can't see me. <laughs> I don't know why it just pops up for some reason sometimes. I, I really actually don't know because I don't think I have steam open, right? It's not even open. Uh, wait, maybe it's open in the background. No, it's not. Yeah, it just happens. I don't know why. It's not just you either. It happens to everyone on my friends list. Bro, missed out on free typing as are you crazy? Yeah. I saw the icon and said, wait, is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know why I didn't register that it's blue. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're good. I'm just messing with you. Not to be a broken record, but I do not give a fuck what people do. <laughs> I launched Blender, but it didn't show up on the notif. Yeah, maybe it, I I don't know. Maybe it's only activity for specific games. I'm not sure, but I. It's not just you specifically, yeah. It's not like I have you like bookmarked and I'm just like stalking your activity, I promise.
Ooh, okay, this is another random question, but I want to poll the audience. What, what, what's the biggest age gap you would date, like in both directions, older and younger? Just curious. I tried doing a TikTok live stream, chipping in star, but seeing everyone else do it, and I have five, I and have five hundred plus viewers, and I got too lame. Maybe it's just time of day. Not gonna lie, I don't really, yeah, I don't like ASMR either. It's kind of a little too, it's too in my ear, TBH. in here we want to yoink before we go back we're gonna go back to the cursed Isabel file real quick um. because I actually kind of wanted to grab the pencils oh wait it might uh, wait I think I need to be oh Isabel's should have it too yeah this one Oh, hers doesn't have the pencil cop. Okay, we have to go back to resident services. Oh, wait! It's here! It's huge! That's really funny. Large. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't know if anyone is like interested in it, but apparently, uh, the Avatar um, live-action Netflix series dropped today. I'm actually kind of excited to go watch it. I think the costume design looks amazing. But Eon did tell me they changed quite a lot of the story, so I got some concerns. But you know they got the they got the representation going for them at the very least. So it's already a step up from the last live action. Roughly my age to plus four years. Okay, okay. So in the upper bound, is there like what about lower bound? My age of one year younger at the most. Anything more is baby true. All right, all right, yeah. So it's like a five-year total range. Like I think that, yeah, that, that's a set. That's a makes sense answer. Plus or minus two years? Okay, also so like four year range in both directions, four or five years, right? So because are you are you plus or minus two inclusive of your own age or exclusive? So like right if you're if you're twenty if you're twenty-five, are you saying the range is like twenty-three to twenty-seven? I mean more or less though, like about four-ish, four or five years, yeah.
Yeah, okay, yeah. So four years. Makes sense, makes sense. Alright, alright. That was just a very, very random curiosity that I was thinking about. Because, uh... Because I, I definitely feel the older I, the older you get, like, the, the bigger age, like, in the sense that, like, I think the age gap matters less. Like, I think if I were to hear someone was, like, 55 and they're, like, dating someone who's 65, I'd be like, okay, I, I see that. However, if I were to hear that they've been married for, like, let's say 35 years, I'd be like, yikes, she was... Like, okay, well, that was a little sexist to assume that she's younger, but, like, one of them was 20 while the other's 30. That's, that's something else. But, like, you know, if they're 55 and 65 and just started, like, dating, like, I think that's less of a thing. Or less of an issue, sorry. Because, like, at that point, they've both experienced life, right? But, like, if someone's 30 dating someone who's 20, it's like, oh, this person might still be in school or in the very early days of their career if they're not in college. Like, but this person who's 30 is like, experienced a lot of life, you know, the, the experiences and views of life are gonna be super different, which is like fine, but it's just a little, little, a little creepy, I think. <laughs> it, right, if you're 30 and they're 20, I think that's a little too big of a gap. And also like, all I'm saying, all I'm saying is listen, you know, younger people, they want to go for the older ones. That's one thing, but older people going for younger ones also, I'm like, that's a red flag in maturity, I feel. Like, their level of maturity, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're that much older than a person and dating someone that much younger, I have some concerns about your level of maturity. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you get a- I don't mean it as in, like, you guys- And I don't mean it in the sense that, like, you guys can't get along in terms of interests. Like, there's nothing wrong with being 30 and having a best friend who's 20 or whatever. But, like, a romantic partner... That's kind of... Because I, I feel like romantic partners, like, you guys are also usually going to be in similar stages of life, right? Like, for in, in, ter in terms of, like, every possible metric, right? Like... Uh, financial stability, career, like, you, maybe you're both working jobs already, stuff like that, like... I think, like, maybe stage of life might be a better way to classify it, you know? And, like, you're gonna be... not guaranteed, of course, but, like... You're more likely to be in the same stage of life as someone who is your age than, say, ten years older than you, right? Because, again, if they're in the same stage of life as you, there's... some sort of circumstances led them to be there, right? Again, whether whether or not it's in their control is two different things, but it's just, I don't know. It's something I've been thinking about. Wait, Blathers also had a round table, I think, in his house. I don't like the shape of this house. Or the, the shape of this round table in particular. Let me check out Blathers' real quick. Just to get the vibe. Oh, I want this rug! Wait, okay, um... So the thing is, the chair- now I remember, the chair that I have for Blathers' house, I don't like it quite as much for the Abels' home. Yeah, 
side. I kind of want more like this type of classic shaped chair for the Ables, but then see the table style doesn't fit. Okay, yeah, but we'll keep the original one. Uh, where is the cursed? Again, cursed file here. Opening the one, the wrong ass thing, and two, might I point out, this file, the Isabel house, I don't even have it on the local drive right now. It's only on the external drive, because I moved it. think Abel would, or yeah, Sable would have a piece of furniture quite like this. Fuck! Wait, where's their laundry room? <laughs> Are we gonna put the laundry? Oh, we could put them, we could put it here actually. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. Got eaten up by the stairs. Why is there just a single one there? What the hell? <gasps> I kind of wanted them to have a little more space for- oh, well they- they will actually for a bit of a kitchen island type deal. Maybe it'll fit. Yeah, I think it could fit. Let's see. I think this will be a little bit on the wide side, but we can just make it more narrow. Actually, not terrible, but yeah, I need to split it a bit. Um, mesh, separate. Just delete one side of the cabinet, yeah. That's good. from our perspective. Wait, that's still really tiny. Um, okay, wait. I mean, I guess I have seen a couple, like, drawers like this.
Oh, wait, I kind of fucked it up a bit. Oh, well. Okay, new plan. Watch this. Pro gamer move. Okay, what's not pro gamer about this is I don't remember which axis is which, but... So does Z, I was correct, why is it not... Oh, bounding box. And negative, there we go. Why is it... What?! Why does it do this sometimes? Like, it's a Maya bug. That's really irritating. Like, super freaking irritating. Um... When I reverse the normals, though, it doesn't fix anything. Like, we ran into this issue last time, too. Watch this. Mesh, uh... Reverse. Because it's like half the... Like, how does this happen? It's gotta be something to do with my mirroring... Mirroring settings, probably, then. If it's like this... Take a look at the mirror settings real quick. So it's uh, on the Z, and it was plus or minus, I don't remember. Cut geometry combined with original merge border vertices, like smoothing angle? Like, what if I set this shit to 90? Mirror? Wrong way? Rounding box? Yeah, like, why does it do that? Why does it do that? Again, I will literally just do this. Like, bridge everything again correctly. Oh, well, okay, so there was something. It just like fixed everything. What the? F I don't know enough about Maya for this.
I am sleepy, so I'm gonna say good, good night and good weekend. Have a happy weekend. Thanks, baby. I'll see you. See you. Wanna see you? But have a good sleep. Actually, honestly, it's pr it's pretty much a good time for for me to call it here too, because like I said, I'm getting a little hungry and a little tired. It's it's been two and a half hours, so we're getting up to time. But thanks for stopping by. Have a good uh, rest of your evening. Pasta sandwich, hell yeah, you know it, baby. <laughs> Dude, the funny thing is, like, this is the funniest, stupidest looking tiny little island, but I've seen kitchens like this. Anyways, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a day because it's a little tired and hungry, but you know, we made a lot of really nice progress. Like this is, the oh wait, let me put this in as well. Move it, sorry. Yeah, just to give that a little bit more space. Why is the pivot doing that? Uh, let's delete the history. There we go. Yeah, nice. Made some really nice progress. Hell yeah. Alright, yep, that's indeed it for me for today. I'm gonna go have a pasta sandwich for dinner. <laughs> 
but thank you everyone for coming by today. Um, uh, next stream is gonna be Sunday. I've decided we're gonna play To the Moon because that's gonna. I think that's a more suitable streaming game as well. Like the other games I was kind of looking at, and I was like, mm, these would just be better for me to just play one off, like kind of on the side. You know, it's easier to play for like 30 minutes when I just got extra time on the weekdays. But like, To the Moon is gonna be a longer game. It's gonna need some dedicated time. So like, I will use stream to cut out the time for that. Uh, but yeah. Thank you again, everyone, for coming by today. Have a good rest of your nights. Have a good weekend, you know, Friday and Saturday. And I'll see you all on Sunday. Bye!